वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट पावर ट्रांसफर ऑन ट्रांसमिशन लाइन सो इफ द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन इज कनेक्टेड टू अ जनरेटर एट इट्स इनपुट एंड एंड द लोड इज ऑल्सो कनेक्टेड टू द अनादर एंड देन वी कैन कैलकुलेट डेट हाउ मच पावर विल बी डिलीवर टू द लोड विच इज कनेक्टेड टू द अनादर एंड सो लेट्स कैलकुलेट द पावर विच इज डिलीवर टू लोड फॉर दिस कैलकुलेशन we have to assume that the voltage and the current at the load is v of l and i of l but if the load is equals to 0 then this voltage will become v of 0 and this current will become i of 0 so v of 0 and i of 0 will be v of 0 equals to v plus 1 plus reflection coefficient and i of 0 equals to v plus over z not that is characteristic impedance 1 minus reflection coefficient so this is the expression of the voltage and the current if the load is equals to 0 now let's calculate the power so the power that is represented by p is equals to half multiplied with real part of voltage at load equals to 0 and current at load equals to 0 so this is equals to half into mod of v plus to the power 2 over z not in terms of its reflection coefficient so this is the formula for power in terms of reflection coefficient now if we talk about the power then it, it can be evaluated in the two ways first of all is the power that can be carried by the forward waves and this forward wave is nothing but the direction of the power that is evaluated from the input side towards the load and the second type of power is the type of a power that is being reflected from the load side to the input side so let's derive the expression for the power carried by forward wave so the power carried by forward wave is nothing but p forward and the expression for p forward is equals to 1 over 2 mod of v plus to the power 2 over z not so this is the expression for the forward power and if we talk about the power reflected by the load in backward direction then power reflected by load in backward direction is equals to p reflected that is equals to 1 over 2 mod of v not minus over z not to the power 2 so if we evaluate the net power that is applied to the load then
it will be equals to this is the net power which is equals to p forward minus p reflected if we substitute the value of p forward and p reflected in this net power expression then it will be equals to half v plus z naught minus half v minus over z naught if we take 1 by 2 as a common then the net power will become 1 by 2 v plus square over z naught minus v minus square over z naught so this is the final expression of the net power that is being delivered to the load so this is all about the power delivered on the transmission line thank you